Capacitor banks are used in electrical substations to improve power factor. In this video, we will learn with a mathematical example how to calculate the required reactive power of the capacitor bank to improve the power factor. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. As we illustrated before on the video of power factor triangle that you can watch from the link in the description down below. The power factor is the ratio between the real power or active power delivered to the load divided by the apparent power of the system. Power factor is a value between 0 and 1. We have this apparent power because of the reactive power which is produced by inductance and capacitance elements that are existed on loads. Active power is the useful power that help a motor load to rotate or a lamp to illuminate. But the reactive power is not useful power and causes a burden on the system. So if we decreased the reactive power, we will decrease the total power or apparent power. This decrease means that we improved the power factor near to the value 1. The angle between active power and apparent power is called phi. So cosine phi equal to power factor equal to active power P over apparent power S. In practical life, if we have a substation with loads like motors and lighting, we connect in parallel to the bus bar a capacitor banks that will improve the power factor. As you can observe in this figure, we have active power P in kilowatt and reactive power caused by inductive elements on the motors. This reactive power is Q in kilovolt ampere reactive. So the resultant power is apparent power S in kilovolt ampere. Now, if we connect capacitors to the loads, the total reactive power will decrease, so the total apparent power will decrease also, and the power factor will increase. So let's assume that we have a system with no power factor correction, and then we will connect it to a power factor correction system. So case number one before connecting power factor correction system, power factor one will equal to P over S1, which is equal to cosine phi1. Tan phi1 will equal to Q1 over P. So Q1 will equal to P times tan phi1. In case 2, after connecting power factor correction system, power factor 2 will equal to P over S2, which is equal to cosine phi2. And tan phi2 will equal to Q2 over P. So Q2 will equal to P times tan phi2. So if we subtract Q1 minus Q2, we will get QC. So this QC is the required reactive power of capacitors to improve the system. So QC will equal to Q1 minus Q2 or P tan phi1 minus P tan phi2. Let's take P in common. So we have P times tan phi 1 minus tan phi 2. Let's take an example. If we have a system that is delivering power of 1 megavolt ampere apparent power to the loads with a power factor of 0.75, calculate the kilovolt ampere reactive capacitor bank required to improve the power factor to 0.95. For cosine phi1, which is equal to power over S1, S1 here is equal to 1 megavolt ampere, and cosine phi is equal to 0.75. So the active power will equal to 0.75 megawatt, or 750 kilowatt. You can observe here that we have useful power with 750 kilowatt, but because the power factor is low, 
The total apparent power is much more higher than the active power, which will make a burden on the system. But after connecting a capacitor bank, we got a power factor 2, equal to 0.95, which is equal to power over S2. So, the new apparent power or total power S2 will equal to 750 kilowatt over 0.95, which will equal to 789.5 kilovolt ampere, which is much more near to the value of active power. So here we decreased the unuseful power, so we decreased the burden on the system, which is good. We have now two power factors, the old one 0.75 and the new one 0.95. For phi 1 will equal to cosine inverse 0.75, which will equal to 41.4 degree. We can calculate phi 2 by making cosine inverse to the required power factor. So phi 2 will equal to cosine inverse 0.95, which will equal to 18.2 degree. Back to our equation, the required reactive power of capacitors, QC, will equal to P times 10 phi 1 minus 10 phi 2. P here is 750 kilowatt times 10 41.4 minus 10 18.2, which will equal to 750 times 0.553, which will equal to 414.75 kilovolt. We can use a table to find out 10 phi 1 minus 10 phi 2 directly without any calculations. So as you can see here, we have an initial power factor of 0.75 and we need to improve it to a final power factor of 0.95. So they meet together on this value of 0.553. So QC will equal to the power times 0.553 which will equal to 414.75 kV ampere reactive, which is the same value of calculations. You can find the link of the table in the description down below. Stay tuned to our ultimate industrial classic control course on YouTube. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share like and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.